morning! Today's chapel lesson comes from the Gospel of Mark again, and it's Mark 8. It says, Jesus went on with his disciples to the village of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? Well, that's a great question. Who is Jesus? Who do you think his disciples thought that he was? How do we know who he is? Well, there's a lot of good answers to those questions, but I wanted to share a little bit from this book I have. It's called The Friend Who Forgives, and it's all about Peter. A long time ago, there was a man named Peter who was best friends with Jesus. Peter was a fisherman. He was strong and brave, but he often said the wrong thing. Do you ever talk before you think? That's what Peter did again and again and again. Peter loved fish. In fact, one day he had Jesus, he and Jesus had fish for breakfast. Fish for breakfast. It's weird. But we will save that part of the story till later. On the day when Jesus first called Peter to follow him, can you guess what Peter was doing? That's right. Peter was fishing. Have you ever been fishing? It's great. But I don't know that I would want to do it all the time. There's Peter. He's fishing. And Jesus. Follow me and I will make you a fisher of men, Jesus told him. Can you imagine that? Peter, fishing for people. Jesus explained that just as Peter liked to search for fish, Jesus had come to search for people who needed forgiveness. There's Peter, he's catching this fish. And Jesus is telling him all about what they're going to go and do. Peter loved being friends with Jesus. He saw Jesus do lots of amazing things. One time, Peter's mother-in-law was sick and Jesus healed her. And another time, Peter was about to drown in a storm, but Jesus saved him. Slowly, Peter realized that Jesus was more than a friend. He was God, and he would never let Peter down. There's Jesus doing all kinds of great things. So, who is Jesus? Well, Jesus is God. And there are a lot of different ways that we can look at that, but... Can you imagine what it would have been like to be a disciple and to meet Jesus as a person and to then know him long enough to realize that he was God? How amazing is that? A lot of people went on to realize that Jesus was God, but Peter was one of the first. And so when Jesus asked him, who do you think that I am? Everyone had kind of a different answer. Some people thought that Jesus was John the Baptist who'd come before him, but Peter he thought about it, and he knew Jesus was the Messiah. I hope you guys have a great week.